Hello, my name is Kelvin. I'm final year student from University of Malaysia Sabah. Now I would like to perform a cardiovascular examination on you. Are you okay with it? Yes. Uh, do you have any pain or any discomfort currently? No. Okay, later if I do the examination, you feel any discomfort or pain, please tell me immediately. <coughs> I will stop. Okay. Okay, before I proceed, may I ask your permission to take out your clothes? Could you please show me your hand? The capillary refill time is less than 2 seconds. Uh, there is no sign of splinter hemorrhage. Uh, can you do like this for me? Okay, alright. There is no clubbing can be seen. Okay, can you turn your hand like this? Okay. There is no palmar pallor, there is no peripheral cyanosis. There is no genuine lesion or oscillant knot can be seen. Okay, now I would like to take your pulse. Is it okay? Yes. Okay. The pulse is 80 beats per minute, regular rhythm, good volume, and the character is normal. Now I would like to check for any radio radio delay. There is no radio radio delay. And I would like to proceed for the radio femoral delay. There is no radio femoral delay. Now I would like to check for your eyes. Okay. Uh, could you flow my hand and look outward? Okay. There is no conjunctival pallor. Can you follow my hand downward? Okay. There's no yellow discoloration of scara. Could you please open your mouth uh, and lift your tongue? Okay. There's no signs of central cyanosis. The oral hygiene is good and there's no dental carry can be appreciated. Now, now I would like you to turn your head to the other side. Now I'd like to perform a hepatotrigger reflex to reconfirm my finding. So do you have any pain in your abdomen right now? No. No, okay. Please look at the side. Okay. The JPP is not raised. Now I'd like to proceed for the inspection of the precordium. Okay. On the inspections, there's no chest deformity can be appreciated. There's no visible lumps can be seen. Now I would like to check laterally for any scar. There is no surgical scar can be seen on the precordium as well. Now I would like to looking for the apex bit. Okay. Going to the length angle of Luis. Second, intercostal space, third, fourth, and fifth. Mid cavicular line. Okay. The apex peak is located at the feet intercostal space at the mid cavicular line. Now, now I'd like to look for is there any parasternal heat? There's no parasternal heat can be appreciated. Now I'd like to feel for the trills over the fore area. There's no trills can be appreciated. Now I'd like to proceed for the auscultation for the precordium. Now I'd like to proceed by using the diaphragm of the step door to loosen for any murmur. And I would like to use the radio pulse for the timing of the murmur. Okay. Uh, could you breathe in? Breathe out and hold. Okay, 
Now I'd like to listen for any radiations of the murmur. Okay, now I'd like to listen for the track of speed buff, which is located at the feet intercoaster space. Okay, can you breathe in and hold? Okay, nice breathe out. Now I have to listen for the pulmonary area, which is located at the second intercostal space at the left side. Okay, could you breathe in and hold? Okay, breathe out. Okay, nice. Now I have to scout for the aortic area, which is located at the second intercostal space of the right side. Can you please breathe in, breathe out, and hold for me? All right, thank you. Now I'd like to use the bell of the stato to listen to your heart. Okay, starting with the mitral valve, which is located at the aspect B. Okay, could you please turn to your left side? Thank you. Okay, please come back. Okay, now I'm listening to the tricuspid area. Pulmonary area. And the LT area. Okay, now I'd like to listen for the any radiations for the aortic stenosis. Okay. Uh, can you please now sit up and lean forward a bit? All right. Now I would like to listen to the left lower base of the heart to listen for any signs of aortic regurgitation. Now I would like to proceed to the posterior to listen for any bivasal crepitation. Okay, could you breathe in? Breathe out. Okay. Breathe in. Breathe out. Okay. Now I'd like to check for any sacral edema. There's no sacral edema can be seen. Okay. Um, now could you please lie down? And I would like to check for your lower limb. Okay. Pants for a little bit. Okay. Now I will uh, now I'll be looking for the PDA edema. And look for patient's face if he feel any discomfort. Okay. There's no PDA edema can be seen. Thank you. On examinations, the patient is well and conscious, lying 45 degrees on the bed. He seems not in pain and not in any de respiratory distress. On hand examinations, there's no signs of clubbing, no signs of Cryonychia, splinter hemorrhage, general lesion, and oscillar node. The capillary refill time is less than two seconds. The pulse rate is 80 beats per minute, regular rhythm. There's no evidence of atrial fibrillation can be appreciated. There's no radio radio delay and no radio femoral delay. On eye examinations, there's no congenital pallor and there's no yellow discoloration of scleral, indicating there's no he's not enemy and there's no jaundice. On net examinations, the JBP is not raised. On the examination of the precordium, there's no visible scar or chest deformity can be seen. On the palpations, there's no personal heave and there's no thrill can be appreciated as well. On the chest auscultations, the first and second heart sound can be heard over all the four area and there is no murmur can be appreciated. On the Examination of the posterior, there's no bipedal crepitations and there's no sacral edema can be seen. On the lowering examinations, there's no evidence of pedal edema.